Okay, for the next installment in our heat and light series, we're going to look at some, maybe unusual, but some alternative ways of lighting a fire and getting a fire going. The first one we're going to look at is steel wool. And when we're doing this, keep in mind that what we're using is grade 000. So quadruple lot steel wool. The, if you use a triple lot or a double lot or other steel wool, I've heard it'll work, but I've also heard it doesn't work very well at all. But with this, it works great. So what I do is in my, in my emergency kit, I have several packages of this just for if we need them. So I have multiple redundant ways of starting a fire, and that's what I strongly advise you to do is in your evacuation kits, your survival kits, not necessarily the ones you take with you, but for the ones in your home where you've got a lot more room to store stuff. Store a lot of this stuff because you never know when you need it. Somebody may come along and you can give them a thing of steel wool and you're giving them an ability to start a fire. And you may then be able to keep the better ways of starting fire for yourself, but still be able to help people out if things come to that point. So now let's take a look at this and we'll do some tabletop work to show how to use this stuff. Okay, the first thing we're going to do with the steel wool is we're going to make some igniters. And an important thing about steel wool is that it doesn't actually really burn, but what it does is it ignites. It starts on fire. And what you want to use it for is to get your tinder started. So this is merely a sparking system to be able to start your tinder. Now for this, we'll use just a regular old cotton ball. And what you want to do is you want to get a piece, and you don't have to, but I prefer to roll it. I, I don't know why, but it feels like it's better if it's rolled. So we're going to start with a 9-volt battery. We're going to take our two connection points on the battery, and there we go fire. We're going to do it with double A batteries. I don't know about you, I don't use 9 volt batteries for anything. So I never have them with me. I do have some in storage with my steel wool, but it's a lot more likely that I'm going to have two double A batteries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold them together here. Just one won't get a spark going. But if you have two, I'm going to put them in my hands like this and I'm going to hold them together so that the points are touching and then I'm going to take a piece of steel wool and I'm going to connect one side and then I'm going to bring this to the other side. Notice the length. This is a long piece of steel wool. So I'm going to come to the other side and we're going to get our fire going. And my kids are watching, they think this is fantastic. 